JSA TV and JSA Podcast, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations with leaders in global connectivity, real estate, and the networks within. My name is Emily Scherer for JSA, and I am joined today by two gentlemen from Borealis Data Centers. They are an Icelandic data center leader. Um, today we have Christopher Andres. He is the business develop, or excuse me, Christopher Andre. He is the business development manager for Borealis, and we're also joined by Istvan Sigur Vinson. He is the compliance manager for Borealis. So welcome. Thank you both for being here. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having us. And we were just talking a little bit earlier, so I have to say I had a layover in Reykjavik, so I was saying I was only there for two hours, but I have to go back, right? Is there something I should see when I go back to Iceland? Absolutely. I mean, we welcome all parties to Iceland. You know, there are many natural resources, you know, that you have to see. I mean, Iceland is a very scenic country and, uh, and does not only give people opportunity to explore nature, you know, but also to explore, you know, why Iceland is sustainable. Absolutely. So there are opportunities to see that, you know, through the geysers, you know, the hydro plants and all the waterfalls, you know, where we collect energy from. Absolutely. It looked beautiful from the plane when I was going over. Sorry, were you going to say something? Yes. So and also the hospitals that are heated with geothermal water all, all year around. So you can actually go uh, to a sustainable hot water uh, under, you know, snowy, uh, under the snow or, or even uh, in a very, very, very warm day. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And keep, yeah. And we're going to talk a little bit more about that too, because I think that has a data center component as well. But before we get to that, so um, Ishtvan, you're speaking on a panel tomorrow. It is titled Sustainability in the Cloud, the Benefits of Reducing Carbon Emissions in the Cloud and How to Start Doing It. Can you tell us what's one thing that you hope people take away from that panel tomorrow? Yes, absolutely. So what I hope to have as takeaway is that, you know, we need to understand that cloud service providers are a sustainable solution, you know, for we're hosting data. However, you know, data centers play an important role. Mm -hmm. So what I would like to um, highlight on, you know, is that the chain responsibility, you know, within sustainability. So it's not enough, you know, to have one component as sustainable component, you know, but the chain reaction, you know, with all the suppliers. And now I take pride, you know, in having policies not only for, um, for our organization, but also extend it to our suppliers. So having a cloud service provider, you know, that can add on this green element, you know, by, uh, by partnershiping, you know, with the green data center, I think that gives the extra bonus. Absolutely. It's all these small things that add up. I feel like that has to do with scope three emissions as well when you're talking about different suppliers. Absolutely. Right? You yeah. know, like there is this huge debate, you know, like uh, whose scope, you know, or whose emission is that, you know, right. like which is my part of the ESG uh, procedure and which is yours as a supplier. Right. So, right. you know, there needs to be a clear cut conversation, you know, how it's divided and how it is shared. Yeah. I know because no one can do it alone. You know, we are in this business together. So we just have to hold hands, you know, and commit to that. Absolutely. And that's what everyone is here to do at Data Cloud ESG. So very exciting to be here. And Christopher, you're also on a panel um, that's going to take place tomorrow. Can you tell us just what that panel is about or one thing you want people to take away from that? Yes. So Iceland is actually a very, very good location for data centers, uh, yes. green and sustainable. Uh, like he's been discussed, uh, we have this 100% renewable energy. Uh, it's actually the, the world's lowest uh, emission per uh, kilowatt hour. Uh, so having that is a, a big competitive advantage. But the other thing is that it's actually a very, very uh, affordable energy. Uh, you're paying uh, around uh, $65 uh, per gigawatt with all the, the additional costs. So uh, the, the, the location uh, provides another uh, competitiveness it's it's the cold climate up in the north right. uh, so we can actually use uh, the environment to work as a cooling element dragging uh, yes. down the PUE the uh, all the way down to 1.03 which is uh, you know it's, it's almost never seen in the in the, com in the, in the market as today uh, so Iceland provides a lot of uh, benefits and advantages to uh, data centers and, yes. and to lower the costs uh, being one of the the most competitive land in, in Europe uh, as well as in the world on data centers so I'll be discussing that with uh, fellow panelists uh, uh, our our friends up north uh, and far as, uh, as we have a new sea cable uh, that adds another advantage to Iceland shortening the time to Europe and to the US like we're a, a bridge in Ireland, uh, just a little neighborhood as, as we're 
have such a fast connection there, uh, providing another opportunity to expand businesses over to the U.S. Absolutely. Excellent. And we're speaking to At North tomorrow as well. So we're going to hear even more about this panel. So that sounds excellent. I hope everyone can go and see that. Um, and now, Christopher, I also wanted to ask you, um, you all just ha made an exciting new partnership with IBM. Is there anything that you want to tell us about that? Oh, yes. Uh, so a few months back, we met with IBM on a, on a conference like this. Uh, and we found out that we have a lot of common interests. Uh, we're all trying to make the future of data economical and better for, for the future generations. Uh, on that, the discussions went on and, and we decided to uh, go for a partnership. So now you can actually host your IBM uh, satellite uh, in Iceland, in our data centers, uh, in a very, very sustainable way. And I believe this one is also uh, going to share a little bit more on, 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 on that one in a, in a bit. But uh, providing a, a secure uh, location that, that fills all the, the compliance requirements uh, as well as getting the, the, the most secure location in the world, Iceland, been ranked number one for, for many years in a row by the, by the global index, uh, mm -hmm. makes a perfect location for, uh, for uh, storing data, recovery data, and et cetera. Right. Excellent. Thank you for sharing that with us. And then, yeah, Ishvan, if you want to go ahead and just tell us a little bit more about those sustainability efforts. Yeah, absolutely. So I would just like to highlight on the fact, you know, that Borealis, you know, takes pride in being, you know, a leading data center, a sustainable data center, you know, and we have a slogan, you know, which seems, you know, slightly overused that ESG is in our DNA. But it's absolutely true. Uh, that's just because Iceland is a sustainable country on its own. And now we have one of our largest energy providers becoming carbon neutral in just about a year or two. Um, they are almost carbon neutral, so it's at 0 0.3 currently without minimal or zero offsetting. So we take pride in that. So you can imagine, you know, that if, you know, a data center is connected to such a grid, you know, which is already carbon neutral and uh, achieving ESG standards, you know, it's kind of a given for us. You know, but what we would like to focus on, and this is why IBM partnership is really important, you know, is that transparency is key. You know, compliance and sustainability, you know, go hand in hand, but also it's a business need. It's a business requirement because this is where the world is heading to, especially after hard times like COVID. We understood, you know, like what it means, you know, for the globe, you know, to focus on such issues. And um, with that said, you know, like Borealis takes pride, you know, in, in showcasing all these metrics. And um, yeah, with the, with the partnership with IBM, you know, I think this is just going to be highlighting even more, you know, why Icelandic uh, data centers, you know, can be an absolute leader, you know, within this industry. Absolutely. Thank you for sharing that. I had not, I don't think that that's um, overdone. I've never heard that before. So um, ESG is in our DNA. Is yes. that right? Okay. Borealis Data Centers. Thank you both so much for joining us today. Exciting thank you for the invite. You. Absolutely. And everybody stay curious, stay connected and happy networking.